important. So all group head, please ensure you drop that uh, while I'm talking to you through an email address or the, in the same email you sent the proposal. We need the list, the complete list of those that participated. Only those that participated within their list. Thank you so much. So I read this. Hamid, Hamid is, Hamid is playing here. Yeah? What fantastic, fantastic. Hamid, please, uh, you could take the lead. Okay, Th thank you very much. Uh, I hope we are really enjoying uh, what has taken place with the ASFI Research Journal. Uh, once again, good morning, and then we are now going to another keynote address by Professor James Kiwiri. Now, I'm very honored to introduce the professor, and uh, it's really a very big privilege. Uh, I want us to understand that uh, professor is going to talk to us about understanding the sociocultural context in African research. Uh, basically, we have to know that Professor Kerry joined the African Leadership Center, Nairobi, Kenya, in October 2016 as a research leader. The current chair for the Central African Hub of African Leadership Center. The professor is a visiting professor of conflict prevention and regional integration at the Institute for Governance, Humanities, and Social Science of the Pan African University, African Union, hosted at the University of Yaoundé, South Cameroon, and is the president of. Hamidu, Hamidu, we don't actually hear you. Um, Jerry, can you take Jerry, over? You take because uh, it seems uh, Hamidu is having Am I audible now? Okay, yeah. the network. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The so network. Thank you very much. He's, a, he's, he's been a visiting senior research fellow as part of the practice of... Uh, Uh, senior research fellow as part of the practice Jerry, I think you can you can do this. Hamidu has issues with this network. Please go ahead. Yeah, I think he has issues with network. Okay, let me just quickly brush with that, okay? Uh, I think so in line two. He's also a visiting scholar or professor of conflict prevention and regional integration at the Institute for Governance, Humanities and Social Sciences of the Pan-African University, African Union, hosted at the University of Yonda, Suso, Cameroon, and president of Rebuilding Life, a humanitarian organization. He has been visiting senior lecturer, a senior research fellow, as part of the practice of leadership program with the African Leadership Center at the Faculty of Social Science and Public Policy, King's College, London. He has served as a reviewer for several international journals and led several innovative research projects around specific prevention. He holds a Master's in Peace and Reconciliation Studies from the Center of Peace and Reconciliation Studies in Coventry University, United Kingdom, and a PhD in Political Science from the University of Yonde Tuso. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to introduce to you Professor James Kerber, speaking to us this morning, understanding social cultural context in African research. Prof. You have the stage. 
thank you very much, uh, Jerry and uh, Amidu, for that uh, really wonderful introduction. Uh, I'm going to try to do uh, justice to such uh, an introduction. But I should first of all say uh, that I am truly honored to actually uh, be part of you um, today. Um, it is even greater than, uh, than what I, I experienced last year, and I thought it couldn't be better last year, but I've seen better this year. So I really, really want to uh, thank um, uh, the, the, the ASFI management for extending an invitation to me to deliver uh, this address uh, that is entitled Understanding Sociocultural Context in African Research uh, on the occasion of the, uh, the ASFI 2023 virtual conference and bootcamp on the theme Research for Africa's Transformation Challenges and Impact. Good morning to everyone. Um, I'm excited to have a chance to speak here uh, because this conference touches on a lot of things that I think a lot about and I think are incredibly important. The subject of my keynote address, understanding sociocultural context in African research, is one of those things which I believe need to pay, we need to pay more attention to. I therefore thank Prof. Bright Mwaru and his wonderful team at ASFI for the opportunity to present uh, this keynote. As an introduction, I would say that uh, research in, on and in Africa has often been taken into account, uh, has often not taken into account its sociocultural context. This, however, is not uncommon as philosophical and sociological views of scientific research have established a dichotomy between rational and sociocultural aspects of research. And uh, in, in, in very extreme situations, uh, this means that uh, you are either doing one or actually uh, doing the other, or you are, actually, act, you are for one or the other. Both aspects can, however, be considered complementary. Scientific research uses information that is derived not only from phenomena, but also from the sociocultural context in which it is carried out. Considering sociocultural context is important for any scientific research project. This explains why scholars such as Adeline Levine and Murray Levine have concluded that research reports are cultural artifacts shaped by social forces. In spite of this, the sociocultural context in which research is carried out in Africa is little understood and often not considered when designing research projects. Africa's sociocultural context includes the pre-colonial, the colonial history, and varied political systems of governance that we see on the continent, as well as the, the very diverse cultures that we equally have on the con continent, but not least also the rapidly growing population and the disease that we actually have uh, been encountering on the continent. Africa equally has what we can describe as a triple heritage. We have uh, indigenous people, we have Islamic communities, we have uh, European uh, settlers that defines this diverse social, political and economic systems that we find on the continent. Now, I am going to articulate uh, this keynote uh, around two main things. The first is that I would want to explicate uh, clearly what 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 we have uh, from what I have mentioned as a this dichotomy, uh, the, the, the traditional view of scientific research. And then we, I, I want to look at the, uh, the, the place of uh, assumptions, values and interest in research, which is actually one of the, the things that we need to understand in order to, um, to, 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 to be clear about how research interacts with the sociocultural context uh, in Africa. So what do we actually uh, consider as the traditional view of scientific research? Logical empiricism has it that the production of scientific information should not be subject uh, to any cultural bias. You should carry out your scientific investigation without letting your cultural 
you know your cultural background and your and and, and, and environment affect uh, that research or its results. When conducting scientific research, scientists take a series of cognitive rational steps to access and work on objective information. In this view, therefore, social influence is considered detrimental to scientific re research. In his med meditations on first philosophy, for example, René Descartes argues or contends that a, st that a stance that common sense knowledge or ground, grounded, groundless assumptions thought through socialization is an obstacle to legitimate method of establishing or creating knowledge. In the traditional view of research, therefore, uh, scientific research procedures should be completely rational and hence filter out the influence of subjective considerations such as values and interest of, social, of, of society or culture. The, the model uh, that is propounded by this view is therefore one in which uh, you actually start by, you can actually start by looking at existing findings, and then you can, you, from those existing findings, you can devise, you can build, uh, a, you can construct a theory or hypothesis, and then uh, you can actually uh, test your hypothesis you can demonstrate you can demonstrate the theory after testing the hypothesis and if you if you do that you move on to disseminate uh, the results of, of of your findings and this leads usually to what we what 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 the society um it would do which would be whether they are accepting your theory or not and then this fits back into the research process this is uh, what uh, we are referring to as a traditional view of, of research. None the, in spite of this, what we see is that it is not as clear as, as it seems. It's not as mechanical, if I should put it that way, as it seems, uh, because assumptions, values, and interests, or uh, to put it more clearly, the sociocultural context actually matters and impacts research uh, in ways that uh, have been underestimated by uh, the traditional school. And so what then do we make of this? We can say that assumptions are considerations for interests and values that exist outside the direct observations of a phenomenon that one is investigating. Assumptions, values, and in interests influence many of the, research, if, of the researchers' decisions throughout the research process. The subjective content helps the researcher to choose a phenomenon and hypothesis to study. So it is not necessarily because something imposes itself because of uh, the, be, 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 be that uh, that we actually study it. It is also because of our subjective interest that we decide to actually study something and not another. How to implement a test and test a hypothesis and how to interpret data are all influenced by subjective considerations. Assumptions have an influence over the choice of phenomenon and hypothesis because nothing in the existing findings themselves will determine what kind of project will best serve the researcher's interest. Now we can actually we can actually identify uh, we can actually identify three main uh, points around which to articulate this, uh, and these points point to actually what the social cultural context is in Africa and why it must uh, be taken into consideration. The first point is professional advancement. On the continent, what we actually see is that uh, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are a lot of interest in uh, professional advancement uh, in research institutions. The prospects of obtaining future research opportunities for the individual researcher can influence their design and execution of a project. And of course, this is very, very real uh, in the African uh, setting. Uh, many uh, engage in, we, we, we were talking earlier about uh, the, the, the journal that is being operationalized. And people are going to actually uh, submit articles to this journal, not really because oh, they want to advance science, 
some will do, yes, but we also have others who are going to submit because they need those their articles to be published so that they can advance in their professional careers. Uh, we, 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 we have uh, people who will publish sometimes just because they actually need to actually fulfill a professional criteria. And so uh, this affects the research they do. Uh, they can also be doing it uh, on a particular subject because uh, they, are, they, are, they are seeking a job uh, in a particular field of, 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 of research uh, on the continent. The second uh, factor that influences uh, research a lot on the continent is funding. We actually have a serious problem, a serious challenge, I should say, with, uh, with funding uh, research on the continent. Very few outside of South Africa and uh, a few uh, countries uh, from Northern Africa, there is very limited funding for research on the continent by governments and by other organizations very very limited the, the the little that is even available is always uh very insufficient and and difficult to, to actually uh use in different in ways that would actually uh ensure uh research robust research the kind of robust research or data collection uh for research that we need to 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 have very reliable results uh you know is carried out so without funding what does it mean we have seen in many universities across the continent that students tend to rely on google to actually carry out their research this is because of the environment the context in which they find themselves so uh, they get whatever they can get on google and then they find ways to put it together and then they are defending a thesis or uh, a dissertation this is uh, something that actually needs to change. Uh, we need to see more funding for research on the continent. And uh, it's only when we have uh, enough funding that we can actually uh, see Africa producing uh, the research of a value and quality uh, that would actually impact our own very situations on the continent. Uh, we, we, the last uh, point is the, the implications of the research. Researchers have a vested interest in the implications of their results on the continent. They are influenced by what the research might motivate people to do, what they think is the most desirable outcome, and how the knowledge that they will generate uh, is going to reflect on their personal values and assumptions uh, associated with the phenomenon that they are studying itself. So when you are carrying out research on the continent, because of this uh, context, as we have said, marked by a pre-colonial past uh, and, 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 and now uh, different systems, including dictatorships and, and, and among others, you, a, research, a researcher cannot be, carry out their, their work without taking this context into consideration. And so what happens? Uh, the researcher actually worries about uh, what, what it is that is going to be to, to, to be how their research is going to be seen. Uh, if you carry out a study and then you have to become a refugee as a result of that research, <laughs> would you carry on with it? Would you even venture into, into research? And when we look at all of these considerations, we actually then begin to realize that in order to actually uh, uh, be competitive as far as research is concerned, uh, these issues about our sociocultural context uh, need to be addressed. The sociocultural context in Africa at the moment is not one that actually is very enabling uh, for, for research, I should say. There is a lot that has to be done in order to improve the sociocultural context. Uh, we have to develop uh, more understanding of, of, of research and its purposes. Uh, 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 officials, government officials need to understand that research, uh, the purpose of research, uh, the, the, when it's applied research, is to actually contribute to the advancement of society. And so when uh, a study 
these findings are not favorable in terms of qualitative research, for instance, to uh, a, the policy of the day. It shouldn't mean that the researcher or the person that has produced it is an opponent to uh, the, the regime of the day, but that uh, they are pointing us to a direction that we have probably missed and which is actually going to help uh, the government uh, uh, deliver better for, for their society. The same thing can, can be said of uh, the, 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 the natural sciences. Without taking uh, the sociocultural context into consideration, uh, we miss out on a lot of things uh, because a lot of, as we know, a lot of studies were carried out on, on populations that are very different from, from, from those that we have on the continent. And so there are symptoms of certain disease, for instance, that are not very, very apparent when you have somebody with, uh, with, with darker skin. And so research needs to actually uh, have be funded and to ensure that we actually uh, have the nuances that enable uh, uh, clinicians to identify uh, this this kind of this kind of of, of, of symptoms in people of, of darker color in people uh, who uh, are not uh, of, of the same uh, complexion as the areas in which certain studies uh, regarding particular disease have been carried out uh, this of course equally goes to say that for non-Africans carrying out research in Africa, missing out on the socio-cultural context uh, is something that can actually uh, affect significantly uh, the uh, result or outcome of that research. And this is often really missed. Uh, many uh, many have, have, have tried to carry out a study and then been, been unsuccessful because uh, they do not understand how research is perceived on the continent and, and so have resorted from my experience into um, sort of, I always call it panabiting or, or fixing, uh, you know, the, the, the data, uh, f f f which is a kind of, um, I can say, uh, frauding the data. Right? You're fixing the data or fabricating the data, uh, which uh, doesn't actually reflect the reality. So, for instance, we, we, we've seen a lot of studies carried out by non-Africans uh, on how to improve the, the economic situation on the continent that has not delivered on advancing African economies. This, is, this can partly be explained by the, the detachment of those who carry out uh, this research from the socio-cultural context uh, that uh, we actually have in Africa. So I want to say uh, that uh, the, the socio-cultural context from, from this uh, is something that definitely needs to be further uh, examined and understood. And once, once that is done, we then have a model of of, of of research which doesn't which is not limited to the different steps that i have actually outlined uh, under the traditional view uh, in this case we will then see that uh, we can have a model that integrates uh, social societal interests values and assumptions and how these impact on findings uh, how these impact even on the choice of hypothesis that we actually uh, set out to, to investigate or questions and then uh, this goes back into the normal channel and of course uh, last but not the least i should i should reiterate that it is not uh, because of the consideration of these socio-cultural factors that our research is going to actually uh, lo lose uh, any any value uh, but rather because of their consideration that we are more likely uh, to carry out the kind of research that effectively uh, affects uh, the situation uh, on the continent or produces the desired the desired results, which are results that are reliable and that can actually be used uh, to transform societies on the continent. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Doc, for that wonderful presentation amidu i don't know if you're here thank you so much prof that was profound to hear your submission understanding social cultural context in african research
I listen with rap attention, but before I made some few submission, I guess I need to ask for people who have some question. All right, uh, uh, just a minute. People who have question. I think Hamidu is trying to raise his hand up so that. Um... Oh, thank you very much, Professor. Uh, uh, quickly, uh, since other people want to talk, uh, in, in summary, I'm interested in the the, the, the differential between traditional uh, form of uh, research and then the cultural, uh, the, uh, the subjective content of research influencing the choice of hypothesis, the study method, and uh, uh, all the other process of research uh, uh, process. Now, Prof ask some basic questions, and I will want all of us to take these questions along with us. What is the sociocultural context of research in, within your own context, within your own area? And then what is the nature of funding within those areas, nature of funding opportunities? And then he now also talked about the implications of those research. And that is why, for example, all over the place, we see a lot of research has taken place, but then, there is no motivation for putting those suicide into action. And as such, most at times it ends up into having a problem of fraud, as what Prof called it, fraud in data manipulation and the rest of them. So this is just a recap, a little recap of uh, uh, what Prof says. And then I want us to understand that those basic assumptions that culturally has effect on us and then the subjective nature of research really matters. But how, the, at the end, what Prof is saying is that, how do you manipulate ourselves out of this uh, quagma? Uh, I now hand you back to uh, Jerry for more input. Thank you, Prof, once again, on behalf of uh, the organizers of this conference. It's really a very thought-provoking uh, presentation. Thank you, Prof, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. So uh, please, I want to ask the audience, do we have anyone who want to ask a question? Do we have a question for Prof? Because I'm not seeing anyone uh, drop at the chat box. So is there anybody you could just raise your hand? Then uh, we could add to that. Also, just to add part of the reflection, uh, Prof submitted that every research must solve a given problem. And these problems must be contextualized in this context to Africa. Research carried out in African continent can only be relevant when researchers reflect the social cultural flavor of Africa. And that is what that, that is a very great uh, submission by Pro. So all our research that you want to do must be contextualized to Africa. Put the African flavor, our social cultural flavor must be seen glaring. We have many scholars in US and UK who are writing about Africa. They are living in UK, but everything are writing about Africa. That is why it's not relevant to us because it has not contextualized what we're supposed to do here. So Pro, that, that, that is quite profound. That is quite profound, Professor James. Thank do we have questions, you. please? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to attend questions so that before Pro, because I'm sure Pro is very busy. Let's try and get some question before he. Um... Okay, I think we don't have question from the way I can see things. It means that we have all understood what Prof said. All right, uh, me, I'll ask you a question. If you won't ask, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to not Prof. I'm not Prof. I'm not saying you. I mean the audience who are listening. <laughs> okay, Prof mentioned some certain factors that are. Uh, important in African research, uh, social cultural context in African research. Can I see you list some of those factors? I can mention one, funding, that is number two. What was number one and what was his number three? Number two is funding. What was number one? He mentioned that and even gave some examples on those things. Can I have that in the chat box? Let me be sure. Let me engage you. Can I have the chat box? Let me see how many people can be able to remember that. I haven't seen any response yet. Are we? <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Wow. 
Jerry, um, uh, while we while we wait uh, for reactions, um, yes, sir. and uh, I, I I I want to probably uh, take it a little further to give some of these uh, very some very interesting other examples, which uh, okay. um, to leave out for interaction. I I, okay. I I haven't mentioned. You know, one very interesting phenomenon that we are observing now is. Uh, how religious beliefs, for instance, um, are, uh, trump uh, research, uh, you know, outcomes uh, in Africa. Um, if you carry out a study that doesn't tie with, um, you know, re religious beliefs of uh, people um, in certain parts of Africa, uh, it actually is highly unlikely that your research will be welcome. And so uh, we, this is also one of the, the reasons why we actually see uh, people uh, sort of fixing uh, their research results uh, because they don't want it to be seen as uh, uh, abusive to certain uh, religious groups uh, on the continent. It's, uh, it's quite a challenging and, 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 and growing factor. Uh, the uh, people also uh, want to, uh, to some in a very extreme way case, uh, not, not the majority, but it's a significant number, uh, think that problems are, are resolved using uh, prayer or magic and not research. So if you have a serious problem of poverty, um, it might be perceived as a curse from God uh, and not something that can be addressed by actually uh, carrying out research on how you, you actually undo the poverty. And so what you need to do is, is for uh, your sins to be forgiven as a community and then you will get out of poverty. So these are, these are, these are, these are real, uh, you know, social uh, issues uh, uh, that are affecting research uh, and that undermine uh, the production of quality research on the continent uh, that we really need to actually really engage with. Um, I'm not anti-religious, uh, but this is a, but it's very important to point out that uh, religion has its role to play and research has its role to play. And uh, certain problems are better addressed uh, when research is carried out. Um, if right research is not carried out and we sort of uh, rely on, um, on, 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 on on prayer to resolve them, they keep staring at us like we have actually <laughs> seen people praying to get out of poverty and right. uh, probably end their lives still in poverty. In the That's same right. way, uh, going to um, a, a magician um, or a marabou, depending on where we are, they, they, they are called differently. Uh, to actually bring a change uh, in, in our community uh, might actually see the most interesting incantations carried out, but uh, then uh, we might still be find ourselves in, in, in that situation for a very long time. And these are some of the things that we actually see on the continent. Mm -hmm. And uh, one it's one of the reasons why I really, really want to say a big thank you again for to ASFI for uh, what ASFI is doing. Um, like I said, last year, uh, the attendance was not as great as this year. Uh, I, 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 I did pop into some of the, uh, the, the, the sessions yesterday, and um, it's been really impressive to actually see what is going on, to see how Africans are leading change uh, as far as science uh, and research is concerned on the on the continent, and we really, really want to uh, be uh, with ASFI and to support uh, that uh, that process. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prof. Thank you so much, Prof. Uh, we wanted to take more questions, but we're against time. Uh, I want to invite uh, Professor Bryce to do the appreciation before we take the next uh, uh, keynote. All right. Um, thank you very much. Um, um, Jerry and Amidu for moderating this session, and uh, many thanks, Prof. Uh, James and uh, Kiwir. It's a pleasure to always listen to you, and not just that, um, that whenever we call on you, you never hesitate, you come to join us. I mean, you have 
talked about mm -hmm. very important and fundamental issues mm -hmm. here. And, and that is the fact that many times, even the research products is a reflection of our of our um, um, assumptions, assumptions. So we go into research with assumptions, and that can affect when you do research in cultural culturally sensitive areas. It's good to go and discover uh, with an open mind. So this is very important for for every one of us, uh, whether you're coming from Europe or whether you're in Africa, doing in Africa. Um, culture is very important to respect it from our mindset. And then when we go into the field, we'll be able to um, uncover certain things that um, we um, initially didn't know. So I'm very grateful for having you, uh, Prof, this, this morning joining us and to contribute to this this conference thank you very much